But the war on Gaza means most are staying away. Lida Ibrahim reports now from a nativity scene which represents what's happening at the moment. It doesn't look anything like Christmas here in Bethlehem, where Palestinians and Christians around the world believe that Jesus has been born more than 2,000 years ago. Instead of the big Christmas tree with the lights as well as the Christmas carols, we're seeing an empty manger square here in Bethlehem. And instead of the tree, there is this artwork that has seen the rearrangement of the traditional Christmas grotto to resemble the pain and the suffering of Palestinians in the besieged Gaza Strip. Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus in a way that resembles the mothers in Gaza that are holding their babies after being bombarded. The three wise men who have been bringing in the traditional Christmas story gifts to the Holy Family are holding white coffins. You know, this scene reminds Palestinians a lot of the images that have they have been seeing in Gaza. It doesn't look a, a lot like Christmas. And let's hear more about that from Bethlehem's mayor, Hannah Hanania, who's joining us today. Can you tell us how you and the community here in Bethlehem are feeling in this day? Actually, in our days, Bethlehem in mourning, we've, we feel so sad. We are as an essential part of Palestinian community. So we canceled the celebrations and festivities this year and Christmas uh, season. And we put this model, as you see, to reflect the reality. It's what's happening in Gaza Strip. There is aggression against our people. There is a genocide and we can describe there is ethnic cleansing. And we reject that because this isn't a humanity. Uh, the Israeli occupation violating the international law, violating the human rights. And from here, from Bethlehem, we are sending a message to the international community and to come here and to stand with the Palestinian cause and to force Israel to stop this aggression against our people. Mr. Hanna, usually all eyes turn to Bethlehem during this time, during Christmas. Do you think people are looking to Bethlehem, are looking at the suffering of Palestinians? Nowadays, I believe our message will receive in all over the world. That's why we decided to have a clear message from Bethlehem to the whole world. And again, we are going to the international community from Bethlehem in this message to stop this aggression again our, against our people. Thank you so much. And you know, as you can see here in Bethlehem, it's empty. It's a city that has long depended on tourism as its main income. But instead of Christmas, instead of celebrations, there is a lot of grief, there's a lot of sorrow, and there's a lot of pain. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, Bethlehem, the occupied West Bank.